What is going on guys? Alan Reuter here. Welcome to another day in the life video. My life, your screen, your screen, my life. Anyway, Vicky, 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 Vicky Volvo having some issues, having some issues. Decided not to start the other day. Um, just heard back from my, my guy and just a little intake sensor thing. Nothing, nothing to be concerned about. I literally thought I blew my motor again. If you guys don't know, took my motor, took my car, took Vicky up Mount Washington a while back. Um, after sorting out a problem, um, that wasn't that major, but kind of major, kind of, eh, eh, um, took it to Mount Washington, blew two cylinders, put a new motor in the car. Vicky's not going to die anytime soon. That's all I can say. Anyway, thought I did it again. Wasn't coming to Mount Washington, was literally just driving, but had some of the same like symptoms that I was having halfway up a mountain. Um, so wasn't too happy with that. Not a big issue at all that ended up happening. Like I said, it was just a little sensor in the actual intake. Um, so easy enough fix. It's only nine bucks. But figured while we're in there, how about we just put a whole new intake piping system in, get a little bit of airflow into the old, the Vicky box, aka the the old turbo, the old intake, a little more noise, a little more power, baby. Figured we buy that, went over to Viva Performance, got the snob intake piping kit. That's going to be on the way sometime soon. Vicky's parked. We're uh, using a loaner. Um, yeah, so Vicky's parked. We're going to order that kit. We're going to give her a downpipe. Might do a res delete. I don't know. Asked uh, how much for a downpipe with my guy. Um, well, not how much for a downpipe, but just talking about what it would help me with. Uh, and he's like, oh, it's going to be loud. So I was thinking doing a resonator delete um because i already had the muffler delete so it'd be a full straight pipe uh but he was like oh that's loud as hell man um so we're just gonna go with the down pipe we're gonna keep everything else on um see how that ends up sounding he says it's gonna be loud i think it's gonna be loud um but it should sound good um with the new intake piping kit the new sensor vicky should be back on the road running running laps around the world like always but aside from that, we'll get into that in another video um, because, like I said, Vicky is going to be parked for probably probably a week, maybe two, um, while all that is getting done. All the parts are coming and everything. It does run now, but I do have a loaner at the moment from my girlfriend. Um, have that for today and tomorrow, um, and then we'll be good, hopefully. I can drive Vicky. I'm going to probably drive her later in the week, but for all this work to be done, we got to wait. Um, that sense is fine. It's drivable, but for the build process to start, we got to wait for the parts to come in. Anyway, today we need to throw a battery in Big Bertha out back, the Benz 1985 300D turbo diesel. If you haven't seen the past videos where I've mentioned it, um, let's go outside, take a look at that, throw a battery in it. We got to move it to the front of my house because it was parked in the backyard for the winter. Thinking about actually getting her back on the road again this summer. Um... But anyway, let's head back. Let's get that battery in Big Bertha. So side note, I usually, so you know how people have like their morning coffee. Um, I'm not the biggest coffee drinker. I do like it every now and then. But I usually have like a morning energy drink in the morning. Zero calorie, monster, a rain, something. Something energy drink related. Zero calorie, no sugars, no anything. Just my morning coffee, my morning caffeine kind of wake me up a little. But my friend actually showed me these things show me these things let's let this focus really quick these uh oh i don't think it's gonna focus come on come on all right these things these uh 4c energy rush little flavor packets um i believe they have like 150 milligrams of caffeine i believe i could be wrong uh might be a little more than that but it's all natural caffeine it's kind of like a crystal light packet. You just pour it in the water. But it also apparently makes the water fizzy. So we're going to we're gonna try these out right now. I was thinking, let's uh, take this berry, put it in this cool blue Powerade or Mountain Berry Powerade. See what happens to it. Pour that baby in there. Oh. Oh. Damn. Damn, it's fizzy. That's sick. 
Oh, why isn't it focusing? That is sick. It's like, look at that. Look at that. I don't know if you can, I don't know if it's going to focus, but you can kind of see it. Damn. It's like, a, like an energy drink in a packet. We're going to give this a try. Let's see how it is. Let's see how it is. Berry energy rush thing and a berry blast power rate. Kind of tastes like a like a blue raspberry rain, honestly, just with less caffeine. So honestly, I'm, I'm probably gonna pick a few of those up. That's sick. But uh, let's go outside and work on Big Bertha. That's Big Bertha, 85 Benz. She needs some work. She needs a battery. She needs uh, an oil pan gasket. She needs a new training line. She needs new four pans, cause, uh, <laughs> well. It's mint. As you can see, floors are kinda, whoo, whoo kinda iffy. Um, we don't talk about that though. Let's throw this battery in, all right? All right, I messed up. This battery right here, it's uh, got the opposite opposite connections to where the bends hooks up. So where the negative is supposed to go to the negative and the positive is supposed to be to the positive. It's uh, these terminals here, they're on, the, they're on the wrong side. So if they're here, they need to be over here. <laughs> because if I flip the battery, the cords in the bends, the actual, you know, I don't know why I can't think of the name. This battery is pretty freaking, freaking slipping out of my hand over here um the all right now that i got that battery away where the negative connection is and the positive connection the negative will not reach the negative if i spin the battery around to the right in the right direction <laughs> the positive will reach the positive but the negative won't reach the negative so that's an issue so hopefully I can go return this battery and find one that's opposite so it fits perfectly. Really hope so. Sucks. With that being said, I'm off to BJ's to hopefully exchange this battery with one that's in the correct position that I need with the terminals in the right position that I need. Um, another point need to make currently looking for a Volkswagen TDI it's a diesel Volkswagen uh, preferably with under 200,000 miles uh, preferably manual if you're watching this you know I can find one for under under 3,500 3,500 or less that's what I'm gonna say if you're watching this you know where I can find one I don't mind driving if you're in freaking Ohio let me know I'll drive there if you're in Louisiana cool maybe I'll drive there that's pretty far but maybe <laughs> But let me know if you know where I can find a TDI. If you know what they are, you know what they are. You know what I'm looking for. Let's go to BJ's. Let's hopefully find this battery. All right, guys. Almost home with the new battery. Going to get right on into it. Put her in. Got the one with the connections on the opposite side. So should go in like a breeze. But... 35 year old car, 36 year old car actually. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Batteries in, let's see how she starts up. Hopefully, starts up.
She started up. Big Bertha started up. Let's give you a look. Not running too bad for having sat for for almost six months the whole winter. Um, it's good to hear her start again. Uh, the floor underneath the driver's seat has definitely gotten worse over the winter. Um, that is one project I have for the summer is to definitely get floor pans in this thing so it's it's safe to be in while it's running down the road. Um, since seeing what you guys saw in the last uh, few clips where if I, literally, if I bounce the driver's seat up and down, you can literally see it wobbling the floor, um, like literally underneath the car. Um, and that's no bueno because I'd be terrified to hit like a massive bump on the road and then just fall right through to the ground um not that that would that probably wouldn't happen but there's a chance obviously but uh yeah a few things i want to get done on this thing this summer now that she's finally running uh as you can see these buttons kind of look a little worn this all this dash trim's kind of kind of flaking off as you can see but uh we do have all new buttons for basically all this uh, these window buttons right here, uh, I believe only one of them actually works, um, but the actual fuses still work here. Um, we do have this new new shift knob. Uh, my friend that I bought it from actually does have a new wood grain steering wheel that I like to get put in. Um, but first things first, definitely, definitely some floor pans, because uh, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, that's no bueno. That's really no bueno, but uh, yeah, just a few things here and there that I want to do with this thing. I'm not trying to make it perfect this year. It's not going to happen. This thing is a project car and a half. There is so much that has to be done. Uh, it probably costs honestly to fully restore this thing to like its former glory um, when it first was made. It probably run me like 30 to 40 grand. Um, I don't plan on selling it at the moment. Um, I do plan on not driving it that all that often or registering or insuring it probably just starting it up every now and then just to make sure it's still running until at least i get those floor pans in and i do need to replace uh motor mounts and some hosing underneath the hood just to make sure all that is intact <laughs> keep the thing running as long as possible um it does have here it does have i don't know if you can see that number two hundred eighty-three thousand and fifty-six miles but it was sitting for six Dropped my phone there. Uh, it was sitting for six months and started right up once I put a new battery in. Um, it didn't leak anything over the winter. Oil still full, tranny uh, fluid still full. Um, I did do a kind of makeshift uh, tranny line before the winter came and I put some stuff around the oil pan to kind of stop the small, small leak that was happening, but I do want to get those taken care of. But uh, I got to get this thing moved to the front of my yard so some grass can grow under this thing. Um, and we'll see you in the next clip. Let's see what, uh, I don't know what I'm doing next. So. Your guess is as good as mine. See you in the next clip, guys. Screw that. Slapped insurance on this bad boy. We're taking her for a ride. Let's go. So she runs. She runs, boys and girls. I'm happy. I'm happy. This literally made my day. This is great. I miss driving this thing. Like, it's not the nicest car, but it's definitely a head turner, and it's definitely a great driving experience, even in the condition it's in. Like, it's just, I don't know, I can't explain it. You'd have to get in a car this old, or older, if you have the chance, the opportunity to. You'd have to get in a car this old, or just get in an older car, like this thing to really understand what I mean. The driving experience is just insane. So we found out what's wrong with the Volvo. That's gonna get straightened out and 
partially built even more. Um, one step closer to the goal. Uh, we got the Benz running, took it for a ride. Still doesn't run the best, but hey, it runs, drives, stops, and it's fun to drive, so <laughs> we're gonna run with it. Um, yeah, that's gonna do it for the car stuff today. Now we're gonna head off to the gym. Uh, we got our heavy bench day, heavy squats, full push day. Should be fun. See you at the gym, guys. Next level, greatest gym in Rhode Island. Let's go. Alright guys, so if you can't tell, the gym at Next Level was getting pretty empty. Um, I wasn't sure why either. Um, I forgot they closed at 8. So, currently on my way to Max Fitness to finish up some triceps and some shoulders. It's only 10 minutes away. I figured, why go home when I can just shoot by there, finish 3, 4 quick exercises quick. Um, this is like my longest workout of the week. It usually takes a lot longer than every other workout. Um, and yeah. Yeah, I, th this means I have to go to another gym to finish the workout. But uh, no, no issues here. My mistake. See you at Max Fitness. God. <laughs> What is going on guys? Alan Reuter. Um, it's the end of this video. I know I said I was going to be uploading this video on Friday um, at 9 a.m. But due to some car problems, uh, getting busier at work, and just a whole, whole ton of things going on this week, uh, things got pretty hectic. And as you can tell, haven't done much on this whole uh, content thing as far as YouTube and just all my socials. I've kind of been uh, AFK for like five days. So, sorry about that. Should be back to normal this week. Um, sorry about the delay in this video. Um, if you're watching this, it's Monday. Happy Monday. Um, it's probably later in the day. Pretty sure I'm uploading this probably around like 5, 5 p.m. Uh, or maybe even four if I'm feeling frisky a little earlier. Um, but I know this video is kind of all the place, so kind of let me explain. So, last cup you saw, obviously my workout hope you guys enjoyed that workout give that workout a try maybe not do the squats at the beginning power lifter but uh if you know you're just looking for a simple push workout take out the squats do everything else 
give it a try. Felt really good. I really liked it. You might really like it too. If you try it, let me know. Comment down below. Anyway, saw that workout. Um, and then you just saw a clip of a car that was absolutely torn apart. So... Let me explain that. So my friend, that's my Volvo's, my friend's Volvo S60R. Um, very nice car, very hard to find car. Um, people are looking at me talking, looks like I'm talking to myself over here. Um, so Volvo S60R, 2005, same year as my car, but my car's not the R. Um, for those of you who don't know, Alan, why are you building your Volvo, your Volvo S60 2.5T and not an R? Why don't you buy an R? Well. R's, smaller, thinner, cylinder walls, um, you give an R power, um, bad, bad things could happen. My car can handle power a little better, but obviously stock, my car comes with a lot less power, so it takes a little more work to get it up to R power initially, but I'm then able to bump it up past there. Anyway, my friend took his S60R to a mechanic shop to get an oil change. He was in a pinch, needed an oil change. Typical, normal thing to do. You expect uh, you expect a shop to be able to change your oil. So he takes it there, and they um, they forgot to drain the oil, they forgot to change the filter, um, and they just added six quarts of oil on top of the six quarts that were already in there, uh, AKA Sayonara Tri Tamara to the motor. Uh, motor got obliterated, um, and he didn't really want to take the time to put a new motor in it or save it. He's not into cars as much as I am. Um, hold up, somebody's pulling in next to me, uh, of course. You know, I'm in an open parking lot, cut. All right, now that everybody in the world has pulled in next to me in this wide open parking lot, um, back to the story. So, my friend, not into cars as much as I am, um, not, doesn't see a, a point in like rebuilding a motor or dropping a new one in. Me, obviously, I would blow 20 motors in this car and still not get rid of it. I would just keep putting new ones in and or rebuilding them. Um, but anyway, so yeah, he was like, hey man, I know you're building your car. Um, this thing's gonna get scrapped. That's a shame, that poor car is getting scrapped. But anyway, this car's getting scrapped. You can come by, grab whatever you want off of it. Just toss me some few bucks, whatever, whatever you feel necessary. Um, so, ended up going there absolutely tearing the car apart got the bumper the headlights the well front bumper the headlights the fog lights i got the mass airflow sensor i got the injectors the fuel rail the all the badges off of it i don't know why just i was going to town all the badges off of it full set of brembo brakes basically new that bolt right onto my car that's great that's that makes the whole thing worth it right there just the brakes um, made this whole process worth it. Um, took the wheels, tires off for him because wheels are worth something. I don't want the wheels. Um, and he just had new tires put on, so he can sell those for quite a bit of money. Um, what else did I get off of it? Got the gauge cluster. Um, I got this little thing. Oh, actually, hold on. Hold on. I got this thing that sits like right behind my mirror. Oh, actually, right, right here. It sits right behind my mirror. 
um, and mine, I'm, I'll be driving and it'll be chilling here and then I'll just be driving and it's just like, just freaking flies everywhere because the clip's broken on it. So I grabbed that as small of a, small as a piece as that is. Um, grabbed a bunch of stuff, uh, pretty cool stuff. I'll obviously make a video when I end up putting it all on as I am hoping to document this whole build process for this thing. But huge thanks to my friend Shay for letting me grab all those parts out of my out of his car for my car to help the build. So his car will live on through mine. Um, I let him keep the R badge. He's gonna put it on a necklace and kind of hang it around every mirror that of whatever car he owns. Kind of remember remember the R. Um, but yeah, grabbed all those parts off and those are all gonna end up going into my car. Um, but yeah, and then this weekend, announcement for the build for Vicky. This weekend, ordering a three inch Catalyst downpipe, uh, ordering a full intake piping kit, full, uh, full intercooler piping kit, and then I need, I need this, little, this little rubber grommet. That was the thing I was talking about, which I originally thought was a sensor um, past the mass airflow sensor that I just didn't know about, but no, it's literally a $9 grommet, this little rubber thing that seals a hole, um, that was causing the vacuum leak with my car that caused it to not start that day, which has caused all these issues with the content, man, $9 piece of rubber screwing with the content, but we'll get that. Um, and then, yeah, and that's all I'm ordering this weekend, but obviously probably going to order more things next weekend but anyway i'm going to wrap this video because i'm already what saturday three days late now because it's monday and this video is supposed to be out on friday and obviously be a lot more extensive and like exciting but i got tied up with a lot of things apologize for that hopefully we're back to normal this week but without further ado guys i'm gonna wrap this video let me know what you thought about it i know it wasn't the greatest video maybe it was if you guys like it leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, be like, this video was actually pretty good. I liked it and it'll make me feel good. Appreciate it. But anyway, I'm going to get going. I need to go pick up a few things from Target. That's where I'm sitting right now. Um, and yeah, stay happy guys. Be sure to leave a like, a comment and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't seen my last video, my trip to Pennsylvania, I personally think it was one of my best videos some people have said the same. Some people are like, ah, I kind of like this video, but whatever, whatever the case may be. But I think it was the best video I've made so far. So it'd mean a lot if you guys wouldn't go and went over and checked it out on my channel. And if you haven't already, obviously, you know, hit that little, little subscribe button. Little subscribe button. It's like somewhere right down here. It's right down here. It's just click away. Just tap of the finger away. Show some love. It makes me feel good. My videos hopefully make you feel good. Not in a weird way. Um, but yeah, guys, all right, stay happy, have a great one. And I'm going to be uploading two videos this week and actually doing it because I said I was last week and didn't. So look forward to those. I'll see you next time, guys. And as always, stay happy. Later.